people what's up what's up what's up it's your favorite channel here going to media and i'm your host mr washington today i'm so excited to show you this wonderful uh, korean vehicle this is hyundai hyundai yes for you who do not know how to pronounce this of course the logo looks very much like honda the one from japan uh, and this is not from japan this is hyundai Hyundai. This particular vehicle that I'm showing you here is called Hyundai Mistra. Hyundai Mistra. It is manufactured uh, by Hyundai through the Beijing Hyundai joint venture in China. It slots uh, between the Hyundai Elantra and Hyundai Sonata in Hyundai's Chinese vehicle lineup. Uh, you know very well that uh, Hyundai has a joint venture with a Chinese, uh, I think, uh, company or some sort of uh, w w some. It's a joint venture, so I have no details of verifying if it's a private venture or a government v uh, venture. But uh, uh, the Chinese one is uh, actually a joint venture. And uh, Hyundai, just to give you a background of this vehicle, it was made, uh, uh, the first generation was made between the years uh, 2013 and up to around 2017 when it was uh, uh, facelifted. Yes, the one I'm showing you here is a 2015 model and it actually packs a punch of, of power in this thing. This thing is a marvelous, marvelous beast. It's absolutely an amazing ride if you ever have one. Yes, of course, I will understand in some markets they have never ever heard about this brand Hyundai but Honda is actually a very very big brand uh, yes based in uh, South Korea Seoul South Korea and of course uh, you can uh, see uh, them around the world uh, perhaps in different uh, uh, markets for example in Europe and of course in North America I believe in some African uh, countries you can also find them and uh, uh, Asia especially yes because they, their market is Asia of course and of course uh, in uh, Australia and New Zealand you can always find this uh, vehicle manufacturer they have uh, sales outputs over there now uh, this vehicle was uh, produced and it uh, it is slightly longer longer than uh, Honda Elantra and it is uh, just a little bit uh, nearly the same length as Honda Sonata however it is uh, right in between there and it uh, uh, competes uh, very well in that segment and of course uh, we will not do this uh, thing a service without mentioning Kia because uh, Kia is uh, one of the uh, uh, other Korean motor vehicle manufacturers yes uh, they could be related Hyundai and Kia they have some sort of uh, relationship there but uh, uh, that is for another story now if you are interested in uh, knowing that uh, or even seeing me drive this car you should leave that in the comments below and uh, I will make sure that I drive this thing for you yes uh, you will see the drive the feel and everything that comes in 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 between there now let's continue we are going to just look at the uh, uh, yes the exterior to begin with just the exterior to begin with so that uh, I show you just how beautiful this thing looks uh, and in this color this uh, greenish uh, thing looks uh, absolutely marvelous and uh, just the ground clearance and the wheelbase is very very long yes uh, that, that gives it a very very um, uh, stable center of gravity and makes it uh, like a really really good uh, road vehicle yes uh, this uh, concept, uh, the first concept was uh, shown in 2013 at the Shanghai Auto Show and was launched as a production model in the end of 2013. Yes, uh, it was developed with the Chinese market in mind but uh, may be produced for other markets. I hope, uh, yes, in Korea they, they might sell this because it looks so gorgeous. And of course um, other Asian countries like Philippines and of course uh, they might even consider selling them in North America. As, uh, as of now, they also already have uh, uh, electric, yes, a plug-in version, which actually is uh, 
say to be doing 520 kilometers of range. Wow, that is amazing. That compares very, very well with the other electric uh, manufacturers in the market currently like Tesla and uh, yes, all those uh, electric uh, pioneers. Yes, all 100% uh, electric pioneers. Now, just look at the grill. Uh, the front grill looks amazing. Look at all these uh, big uh, headlights. Uh, yeah, you take out uh, all the fog lights and uh, the double pipe, exhaust pipes. You look around there. Yes, at the back. And uh, of course, uh, continue with this uh, uh, line of uh, design. Uh, you can see this beautiful, beautiful contour here all the way from the back lights. Uh, yes, all through the uh, front, the air pillar there. You look, it's just running straight and gives you a certain edge. Yes, looks like a spear. Yes, for those who, uh, people who know what a spear looks like. Yes, uh, that contour looks so uh, streamlined and makes the vehicle actually feel aggressive and very powerful and something meant uh, to run now we are going to look at the uh, bonnet and inside the bonnet we are going to look at uh, now we are going to look at the bonnet yes uh, we're just going to pop the bonnet and look at the engine the this engine comes uh, this uh, vehicle in the uh, uh, Honda Mistra comes in two variations. Uh, they have a two liter version and they also have a 1.8 liter version. The 1.8 liter version actually produces 143 horsepower and the 2.0 liter version produces about 155 horsepower. Now this was actually made by Hyundai. They have a, a Honda new engine. The Honda new engine in this uh, variation and it is an amazing 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 engine horsepower yes they produce actually very 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 incredible amount of power yes and the car is actually quite peppy and runs uh, very very fast yes so when you put your foot on the pedal and uh, all the way yes pedal to the metal the thing produces quite an amazing amount of power yes and uh, please uh, uh, just uh, bear with me here we can uh, look at these all these uh, intake uh, all these uh, yes ventilation and all these intakes look at the front grille you know this is a way uh, the way they the intake takes actually the inlet uh, that uh, air inlet here and all the filter you, you see all this these are all uh, hundred percent uh, developed by Hyundai in-house development I believe so yes and uh, this vehicle actually comes with a uh, six-speed uh, manual or six-speed automatic and uh, in some cases you might find a seven-speed DCT that is a dual clutch uh, transmission uh, yes the wheelbase as I mentioned uh, is a uh, 2.7 yes 2 1770 or 109.1 uh, inches the length is actually about 4.7 meters the width is 1.8.2 uh, yes and height is 1.7 compares actually very well with the other yes uh, long wheelbase uh, something mid mid-range uh, sedans a uh, medium medium sedans uh, like all the Volkswagen and all the uh, all these other european brands let's go let's go it's time to look into the interior of this ride this uh, hyundai 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 maestra hyundai maestra or hyundai mistra yes it's time to look at the interior now come on in come on in now let's look we can see at the uh, instrument cluster here the instrument cluster looks uh, quite uh, fantastic you can uh, uh, look for yourself this instrument looks really really fantastic uh, you might be familiar with this because they share the platform with the uh, Kia yes uh, Kia the Hyundai and Kia comes from apparently uh, some parent company or some other some sort of uh, venture or some sort of uh, whatever corporation they have yes uh, way back over there in Korea yes uh, however one thing you will notice is that uh, the uh, interior as compared to European uh, cars or even American cars uh, might feel a little bit on the cheap side 
yes uh, however yes uh, when uh, when you're purchasing uh, Hyundai or many Korean vehicle you're you're in the budget category so you're not into the premium category yes you're not into the premium category like the Mercedes all the Mercedes or the uh, Audi yes or even the Cadillac and, and all that uh, uh, category yes so when you purchasing uh, these uh, uh, yes Honda you're in the budget category so uh, this is what you get for you for your money however this thing uh, feels uh, fantastic fantastic you can look around uh, the clusters uh, the navigation set uh, all this comes uh, standard uh, yes uh, unlike in other uh, uh, you know on premium category where you'll have to pay extra money just to get some sort of uh, navigation going on at all yes uh, so this is uh, this is what you get for the money yes uh, and for the brand and uh, of course uh, you look at the storage compartments around you see, you, you see all these uh, window panels all these uh, da window yes uh, storage uh, compartments the center console so here you can uh, see a very huge uh, storage uh, compartment so you can store your things you can store your sunglasses and all even uh, some uh, whatever uh, receipt uh, tickets uh, you might uh, store here yes a uh, fuel tickets or even uh, if you get a ticket from uh, the the police uh, so you just keep uh, looking around and uh, knowing that uh, you will have a fantastic fantastic uh, uh, cabin yes uh, now let's move to the back of the vehicle and uh, I'm just gonna show you how big and how long this uh, vehicle feels you can see clearly clearly since I'm a very tall person I'm a very tall person and about uh, six yeah I'm a six two six two six feet two uh, inches and I'm very tall consider a very tall person yes and uh, I you can see there's a huge 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 massive leg room right here and this actually gives a very very comfortable uh, ride especially if you're sitting on the rear yes uh, if you're sitting on the rear as a passenger uh, this feels quite uh, feel really good you can stretch all you want and you can feel uh, very very comfortable and you can also look at the headdress uh, here and there you can uh, touch them you can adjust them as you want uh, you can also see there's a very uh, medium here there's a compartment here where you can uh, you know uh, place long optics uh, all through to the uh, to the uh, yes to the boot of your car yes uh, if you're carrying a ski mask a ski or whatever skiing uh, equipment you can always comfortably carry them or if you are you know doing a little bit of DIY repair at your home you can uh, maybe you buying all those uh, PVC pipes at all uh, you can uh, put them through here through this uh, place <laughs> and go ahead and use them at your home now since uh, you've watched uh, this far I believe uh, that it's about time that I ask you to uh, like you know click that subscribe button and uh, do well to uh, uh, follow us or be our subscriber and of course you need to uh, turn on our notification uh, bells there so that you are notified whenever we upload new content yes I hope you've enjoyed this video and until next time I'm gonna say uh, have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next one please do not fail to share this video with your friends and uh, yes uh, I hope you enjoyed and drop your comments in the comments section below and also if you want to see me drive this vehicle do well to leave the comments and I'm gonna be as sure as hell yes to drive it if I can see a hundred comments I absolutely will make sure that I drive it in on the Beijing streets so that you can see it for yourself yes uh, I'm gonna mention yes spoiler alert yes spoiler alert that this uh, steering wheel feels really really light yes <laughs> I'm someone who's been driving B BMW cars for uh, quite a long time and uh, I can tell you for free that this uh, steering wheel feels way too light and uh, might be a little bit scary uh, in the beginning but hey you get used to it uh, since you will purchase this thing and uh, you will have to live with it for some time yes now I'm gonna say thank you so much for watching and uh, goodbye see you in the next video